Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel. If you're new to clinical research or considering a career in it, this video will give you a clear, concise understanding of one of the most essential yet often overlooked areas of modern trials, data management. Clinical research is built on data, and without strong data management, even the most promising study can fail. Whether you're a future CRA, data manager, or sponsor, understanding how data is handled across the trial lifecycle is fundamental to your success. So let's dive into what data management in clinical trials really is, why it matters, how it works, and what skills and systems are shaping its future. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Let's begin with what data management actually is. Data management in clinical trials refers to the planning, collection, validation, cleaning, and storage of data generated throughout a clinical study. The goal is simple. Ensure the data is complete, consistent, and reliable so it can be analyzed with confidence. But data management is much more than organizing spreadsheets. It's a structured, regulated process that guarantees patient safety, supports regulatory submissions, and enables sound scientific conclusions. Let's look at how data management has evolved over the years. In the past, clinical data was recorded on paper. Trials were linear, and the data pipeline was relatively simple. Today, that's changed dramatically. We've moved from paper-based case report forms to sophisticated electronic data capture systems, known as EDCs. But even EDCs are now just one part of a much broader data ecosystem. Modern clinical trials gather data from an increasing number of sources. For example, electronic health records, EPROs, electronic patient reported outcomes, ECOAs, electronic clinical outcome assessments, wearable devices and sensors, imaging, biomarkers, and genomic data. This transformation means clinical data is now multidimensional, real-time, and highly varied, which brings both opportunity and complexity. Let us have a look at the five Vs of clinical data. To understand modern data management, you need to know the five Vs, five core characteristics of today's trial data. One, volume, the sheer quantity of data is exploding. A wearable heart monitor can generate thousands of data points per patient per week. Data managers must manage this influx without losing sight of what's relevant. Two, variety. Data now comes in many forms, structured and unstructured, numeric, text, images, even video. Harmonizing these sources into a consistent, analyzable format is one of the biggest challenges. Three, velocity. Data often arrives in real time. This enables faster decisions, but requires systems that can process and respond quickly, especially in decentralized or adaptive trials. Four, veracity. This is about data accuracy and integrity. Regulatory bodies like the FDA or EMA expect traceable, auditable, and credible data. Even minor inconsistencies can have serious consequences. Five, value. Beyond statistical analysis, Trial data can reveal trends, predict outcomes, and inform future research, but only if it's properly managed and mined for insight. Now let's talk about what a data manager actually does. Data managers are the custodians of clinical trial data, but their role goes far beyond managing databases. They are involved from study startup to close out. In the startup phase, data managers review the protocol, design the electronic case report form, ECRF, program validation checks to catch errors, create the data management plan, which outlines responsibilities, timelines, and procedures, prepare training materials and data entry guides for site staff. During study conduct, they monitor incoming data for completeness and consistency, raise and track queries to sites for clarification or correction, generate reports to help sponsors and monitors oversee study progress. At study closeout, they Clean the database, ensure all issues are resolved, lock the database, a key milestone after which no changes are allowed. Support data handover to statisticians, archive data in accordance with regulatory requirements. Their mission is to ensure that what goes into analysis is clean, verified, and ready for regulatory scrutiny. Let's also take a moment to talk about the systems and tools involved. Today's data managers work with an array of technologies. Q 
Key tools include EDC platforms like QCTMS EDC or OpenClinica, validation tools that catch errors as data is entered, dashboards for visualization and real-time oversight, APIs that allow different systems to communicate and integrate. Security is a top priority. Data from patients, especially direct entries from mobile devices, must be protected with encryption, audit trails, and strict access control. High-quality EPRO systems, for example, are built with these safeguards by design. Data integrity isn't just a technical issue, it's also about trust. Patients and regulators must be confident that the data reflects reality. Let's look at how the role is shifting toward clinical data science. As automation reduces manual data entry and query resolution, the role of the data manager is shifting. We're seeing the emergence of the clinical data scientist, a professional who not only manages data, but analyzes it for patterns, trends, and predictive signals. These experts use tools like data visualizations, dashboards, and sometimes even machine learning to extract deeper meaning from trial data. This new role bridges traditional data management with modern analytics, and it's becoming essential for risk-based monitoring and remote oversight. So what kind of skills do you need to succeed in data management? If you're considering a career in data management, here are some of the core skills and qualities you'll need. Strong organizational and planning skills, precision and attention to detail, understanding of GCP and data regulations like GDPR, familiarity with databases, EDC systems, and validation logic, communication and collaboration skills. You'll work with sponsors, CRAs, site staff, and statisticians, flexibility and problem solving. Every study is different and priorities shift fast. You don't need to be a programmer, but some knowledge of data structures, coding, for example, SAS, SQL, or standards like CDISC, SDTM can be a major plus. Let's talk briefly about the challenges and what's ahead. Clinical data management is not without its challenges. Integrating diverse systems and formats, keeping up with regulatory changes, balancing automation with oversight, or adapting to decentralized trials and real-world data sources. But it's also an exciting time. With the rise of AI, centralized platforms, and data-driven trial designs, data management is more important and more strategic than ever. Done well, it reduces costs, shortens timelines, improves data quality, and ultimately gets life-saving treatments to patients faster. And here's what I want you to take away. In short, data management is the brain of the clinical trial operation. It's where structure meets strategy, where compliance meets innovation. And if you're looking for a career that combines technical skill, teamwork, and purpose, data management might just be your perfect fit. Thanks for watching. For more content on clinical research, data science, and trial operations, subscribe to our GCP Mindset channel and leave a comment.